hey guys welcome back to my channel so today we're going to be doing a fall edition pamper routine this is basically going to be from start to finish how I pamper myself the first thing I'm going to do is start off by pouring me some pumpkin spice latte and I got this cute cup from Target for five dollars and I get this pumpkin spice latte from Aldi it's literally the same as the Starbucks um, drinks and it's literally half the cost so this is such an amazing drink. I love it. You guys can eat it iced or you can eat it hot. So I use a bath towel, a sponge, and a body brush just to cleanse my body. And when I'm first running my bath water, what I like to put in it is this Himalayan sea salt. And this is something new. I, I haven't used the Himalayan sea salt, Epsom salt, um, but this came from Target. It was only $3.99 and it smells so good you guys know the Himalayan salt smells really sweet really rose like in a way um, what I like to use in my bath is my coffee infused body scrub that you guys saw in my Target haul I use the clean on me body products from soap and glory I love soap and glory's products I have the righteous body butter I have my spa candle that you guys saw in my haul and another candle that I like to light for the ambiance and I typically cut out the lights, but for the sake of this video, I kept them on. I just enjoy my drink while I'm in the bath. I watch YouTube sometimes. But now it's time to bathe myself, so I'm going to use the Clean On Me body wash on my bath towel. And it's best that you use a bath towel first, in my opinion, because that's the only thing that really cleanses your body to me. Um, I feel like sponges and, and things like that are for exfoliating. So I love to use a towel so that way I know I'm squeaky clean. Like I said, while I'm in the bath, I just wash up with the soap. I let the water out and then I run a shower. So in my shower, I'm using this coffee infused body scrub and I'm exfoliating my skin, my legs, my full body um, down there, all of my parts <laughs> um, because I'm going to go ahead and shave. Now the clip of me shaving, I had to delete that because it was showing my cha-cha. <laughs> so um, I just washed it one more time with the body wash and now I'm using this Make It Last um, shampoo from Shea Moisture. And I'm washing my hair. So I only wash my hair about once or twice. I don't like to use a lot of shampoo in my hair. And I only wash my hair about once a month. Um, any other time I'm co-washing my hair now after I wash it I'm using this Hydra Repair Protein Power Treatment from Shea Moisture and this is really something that my hair needs as a protein treatment and a deep condition and like I can't pamper myself without doing my hair so I let this sit in my hair for about 15 to 20 minutes um, just like you would with a deep conditioner I pull it up in a bun I hop out the shower and I go right to working on my legs I didn't shave in the shower because I wanted to show you guys um, the Sally Hansen wax strips and I just wanted to show you guys if they worked or not which really to me they don't and initially I had purchased these to you know wax my lip <laughs> so I just wanted to see if the bigger ones would work on my legs and to be honest I don't feel like it pulled up very much hair at all it probably had a couple of strands in there but I was so hesitant of pulling this mug up <laughs> like I literally had to count to myself like I was hesitating so uh, yes it did not really work for me so I did have to go out and shave my legs um, the regular way so yeah <laughs> so now I'm gonna moisturize my legs with the righteous body butter by soap and glory this is my all-time favorite scent you guys like it's perfect for the summer for the fall it is I love this scent it makes me smell so good I'm just lotioning up my entire body that's super important like once I hit the shower lotioning your body is gonna make you feel so much better this is just a basic deodorant that I use and I'm ready to take out this protein treatment that we put in in the shower. So I just washed it out. I'm wrapping my hair up with a towel, actually a t-shirt. It's more healthy for your hair. And then I'm gonna use this Strengthen and Restore Leave-In Conditioner by Shea Moisture. And this, it's a leave-in conditioner. There's not much to say. I just leave this in my hair. Um, deep, I comb it out. <laughs> and um, I'm gonna style my hair. So the rest of this is self-explanatory.
so after I detangle my hair um, I'm just going to basically put it up in a high bun and I'm gonna be using this Kristen S signature hair water and this is basically for whenever you just wanna you know bring some life back to your hair whenever you want to restyle your hair or if it's too dry and it makes it easier for you to manage it smells amazing and I'm just really making sure I coat my edges with this all throughout my hair just to give my hair um, you know add some life back to my hair before I style it also gonna be using my Kristen S hair pomade which is like an edge control and I love edge controls for my hair this is like the only thing that'll slick my hair down but sometimes they can be a little bit oily so I would have to go back on top of it with a gel but um, for me just lounging around at home and just knowing that I just deep condition my hair and things like that I want to pull my hair up into a bun not put any gel not put any hardener anything that's gonna make my hair hard um, onto my hair so just rolling my hair into a bun easy peasy this is like my signature bun <laughs> um, when I don't want to wear weave or when I just want to run out the house and things like that so and then I tie I'm spraying this hairspray on it it's a very very light hold that's the only reason why I did that and then I like to put my scarf on top of it just so when I'm doing my skincare I won't get any um, soap in my hair or anything like that and at the same time I'm laying down my edges so and now we're gonna move on to my dupe for my Clarisonic that I got from Aniso I'm using this Clinique liquid facial soap and this works really well for my skin I've only had this for like literally a week and it really works well with my skin you guys will notice like when a product is when it works well for your skin you'll definitely notice that that's basically what I'm trying to say so I'm just washing off this um, soap and I'm gonna be taking my Ulta Beauty charcoal cleansing wipes and this is just to get off that mascara residue from under my eyes and after that what I like to do is just hydrate my lips in some type of way I'm just using a lip gloss today normally I would use like a Vaseline or a lip moisturizer um, but this is just what was close to me at the moment and what I'm gonna do now is do step two which is use the Clinique clarifying lotion and this is basically like a liquid exfoliator and it feels amazing it's like this really nice minty feel on your skin it makes your skin tingle so if you like that kind of thing, you definitely would enjoy this product here. The facial soap was about $15 and this one was about $17.50. So I got step one and step two for really inexpensive. So now this is the Ulta Beauty Purifying Skin Kit. It comes with these three products right here. Um, a eucalyptus mint exfoliator then it comes with this matcha powder face mask and it comes with a um, purifying serum so I'm just whipping this up in a bowl normally it, I mean all my products are really back home in Florida so this is just the type of mask that I had to you know um, settle for today it's for purifying so I wasn't mad at it and now I'm taking these purifying drops serum drops and my elf daily hydration moisturizer and I'm mixing those together yes so after I mix these two together I actually go on with another moisturizer you guys and to be honest I really didn't need it it wasn't necessary but I wanted to try out the Clinique moisture surge um, moisturizer so this is an intensive nourishing foot mask I'm gonna move on to my feet now I hate showing my feet y'all I hate it so I'm just taking off this nail polish that I had on before and then I'm using this Africans but Africa's best ultimate herbal oil herbal oil I can't talk and I'm putting that on a cotton pad and I'm just really um, you know adding some oil to my toenails I do that to my nails on my hands as well because it just adds moisture and things like that <laughs> so I'm clipping my toenails Ugh, I hate my feet I hate them so this is what they look like I'm gonna moisturize my feet as well I'm taking that 
Righteous Body Butter Lotion and this herbal oil and mixing it together because I'm a gymnast, so my feet have been really rough for the longest. So I try to take care of my feet as much as I can. And I'm just, you know, make, getting all the dirt and gunk out of my feet. So that's basically it. And then I'm going to be polishing my nails with this Believe Beauty Rose Gold. And this is just the top, the base coat and a top coat. So that's what my toes came out to look like. I hate my feet, but, you know, I did my best. And now I'm going to move on to the actual flip mask. I put my feet in these. And then I go ahead and top it off with putting my fluffy socks on for additional comfort and to make sure that that moisture is locked in there so so now i'm going to be using my clinique moisture surge eye filler and this is basically like an under eye cream um it's probably going to take some time before i actually see results with this so i'll let you guys know and here's that other moisturizer it's the clinique moisture surge moisturizer and there's some special things about this that you know um differentiates it from other moisturizers so I'm using this rose water spray from Garnier. This little jar right here was only 87 cents. And I'm gonna be topping it all off with my favorite perfume. It's the Zara Femme perfume. It's like a vanilla -y musk type scent and it smells amazing. Like, I'm really particular about where I put my perfume. I just love to smell good. Um, I hit the back of my neck, behind my knees, things like that, so. I'm going to be finishing off this entire pamper routine with just giving myself a mini mani and um, I'm just clipping my nails, file my nails a little bit, adding some herbal oil for moisture. This actually helps my nails to grow. This oil is for hair, nails, feet, body, anything. So that's what I like about that. And I'm just going to take this clear coat and coat my nails one time with this. This helps my nails to grow and that's about it so I hope you guys enjoyed this pamper routine if you guys did don't forget to give it a thumbs up and drop more fall ideas fall video ideas in the comments below you guys I love to do these videos for you guys again thanks for watching and don't forget to watch my latest video you guys don't forget to comment subscribe all that good stuff and I'll see you soon bye